Hey everyone, in this video I'd like to show you how to make uh, pancakes uh, in a professional way, how we made them in, uh, in restaurants. So uh, when you're making them in restaurant, you get to make them very thin, so you can use them for any uh, fillings, for any dishes, for any other dishes, you can roll them into something. So yeah, that's my that's the way I'm going to show it today. You will need uh, 1.5 to eggs, uh, about two one cup of uh, flour. I'm gonna. I usually I eyeball, but I'm gonna tell you while making all that uh, by adjusting the uh, volume of each ingredient. Sugar, salt. Uh, you will need a bowl, a ladle. Um, silicone spatula or wooden thin wooden wooden spatula but please do not use uh, metal spatula because we're gonna use a non-stick pen never use uh, metal spatulas with non-stick pens because they're just damaging them and you know they will be broken forever uh, so this is not a pancake pen uh, a crepe pen but uh, if you have one used one I don't have one so I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll with this one and uh, when we make pancakes, we usually start by mixing uh, uh, dry mixtures and only then with eggs and then we add uh, milk, not the other way around. It allows us to avoid uh, clumps. Uh, that's around one cup, a little less than one cup of all-purpose flour. Not strong bread flour, but all-purpose flour. Uh, then we add two tablespoons of sugar a tiny pinch of salt I can adjust the amount of sugar later it's better to add less than more then beat an egg inside I'm gonna also add a neck white that I got left from the previous recipe and start mixing it with the whisk until it's homogeneous it will have this big lump it's okay don't worry then start gradually adding milk little by little you mix the first batch of milk then you add the second batch That's the way you make also many sauces like bechamel, such as bechamel or um, roux or other similar sauces when you mix uh, dry components with liquid ones. When you add it gradually it allows you to avoid lumps. But I'm gonna also show you how to avoid lumps additionally for this recipe. I checked the consistency and the taste. I ended up adding just a little more flour because the batter is not thick enough. So the eggs, we need the eggs and the batter in order for the batter to be uh, elastic and uh, uh, in order for the pancakes not to tear up on the pan. It's important to add at least one, two eggs. So, you check the taste, there's enough salt, there's enough sugar. Usually in restaurants, uh, chefs add uh, oil, olive oil or just vegetable oil right inside the butter because when we make many pancakes and big batches, it's easier because it allows us not to add any oil on the pan. But uh, when you make just a little pancakes for home, that's totally fine, you can add oil on the pan. So the right consistency, is this one when you take a spoon and you make a trail and it doesn't uh, doesn't uh, it keeps uh, it doesn't cover the trail it's in French it's called alien up so when you get an alien up consistency you're good to go you can taste the butter to adjust the sugar and salt in this case is perfectly fine and the next step is to strain it through a fine strainer it allows us to avoid any lumps tiny tiny lumps and to become and uh, to make uh, the batter shiny and perfectly homogeneous that's a really important step at the same time we can start preheating the pan 
So when you make pancakes, your pan should be, you should use low heat, not high heat. If you use high heat, it's gonna burn your pancake while it's still uh, not uh, holding up. And when you try to flip it, it's gonna just tear apart. It will be over. But when it's low temperature, it's, uh, it's fine. It's not gonna burn, but you will be able to adjust it uh, while cooking. So I strain the batter, as you can see it's perfectly smooth, no lumps. Next, prepare a ladle, the grip is this, uh, the pan is preheated, prepare a round plate, a spatula, then Add a tiny splash of vegetable oil on the pan, distribute it evenly. And here comes the tricky, the tricky part. You need to adjust the amount of batter on your ladle in order to cover the entire surface of the pan in one time. Which I didn't do right now because it's the first time I'm, I'm doing it on this pan, but uh, basically you can adjust it like that. So I can see that I will need at least one ladle of uh, batter to cover the entire surface. Then you keep it on the heat and I can see that there is... I want to make the batter just a little thinner, just a little. So I can add milk to adjust the consistency. That's really convenient because you can't make it thicker if you want, but you can make it thinner anytime. So you 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 wait for your pancake to get brown on the bottom side, on the bottom, and then I'll show you how to flip it over. So it's been around 40 seconds, it's time to flip the pancake. There is one way. Oh. Oh, no, it doesn't work on this pan, sorry. Okay, you can you can use your hand uh, like that to rotate it. You can use a spatula by simply doing like boom. Or if you have a crepe pan, you can use the method that I tried to use, but since it has really high um, borders, <laughs> it just doesn't work, so yeah. When your pancake is brown, it has been around 30 seconds, you can ju do just like that. There is still some oil on the pan, so don't add any oil. Boom! Voila! Perfect! Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, you can check the pancake like that, like, oh, it's brown, and you do like, boom! and voila and flip it like that before adding uh, before uh, taking some batter and ladle always mix it slightly mix it and uh, uh, if you didn't add oil to the batter add uh, add it to the pan from time to time and distribute it like that if you keep the pan pancakes uh, in this way on the plate uh, after finishing uh, making them Please make sure to put a plastic wrap on this or um, tin foil. Don't keep it like that because otherwise it will get dry and the edges will be uh, will be very fragile. So you won't be able to use it for rolling anything. Please make sure to put the plastic wrap on it. And uh, there you have it. Um, pancakes, thin, very easy to make. and. Uh, delicious at the same time. You can use some fillings uh, and uh, roll them, but that's basically the main recipe. I'm gonna make a banana uh, filling uh, for these pancakes. I'm gonna make uh, bananas with salty caramel. So first cut bananas in large in average slices. Then Start heating the pan, add water, and 
around three tablespoons of sh sugar. Can be brown sugar, can be even four tablespoons, can be just regular sugar. Bring it to bring it to a boil and mix. After it starts boiling, add bananas to the syrup. And cook for a few minutes, constantly mixing. And now you can also add salt to make to give it some salty flavor. Mix at a high temperature until all the water evaporates, and you'll have bananas and caramel. <clears throat> it's been around three minutes. All the uh, water evaporated, and then you have an amazing. Flavor. I just tried it. Uh, combination of salt and caramel taste um, with the bananas is just uh, astounding. So put it in a bowl, and that's it. Sour banana filling. When you roll the pancakes, take a beautiful side down, around 1.5. Tablespoons of filling, slightly at the angle, so slightly like that, not completely straight, and just roll it like that. Beautiful. And uh, there you have it pancakes uh, with uh, banana filling. It's simple, it's delicious, uh, and uh, it's beautiful. So you can try this at home. I hope you like this. Uh, thank you for watching.